All right, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to swap one of these future FT15s uh, with the more or less fake pilot controls. There's no lockout switch, it's just a light. Um, the pumps basically just go up to it, the lines go to it, and then the valves are up here. Rather than being down in that box, they come from there up here. Kind of the same thing, just they're relocated. So left stick originally, uh, this did the stick, which is the outside part up and down. When you push this forward, it went down or in. And when you pulled it back, it went out. And then this turns the table. Uh, this stick with the forward and back is uh, the main, was the main boom, was this hydraulic cylinder here. So when you push this forward, this went down. When you pull this back, it went up. Uh, right to left is the curl of the bucket. Uh, I wanted it to be like backhoe controls, so I wanted to flip this cylinder uh, and that's this cylinder, I'm sorry, the boom and the stick. So to do that, you open up this, there's three bolts, one, two, and there's another one up there. Um, so you look and see what this is actuating. So here, this back lever is actuating this second block which are these two lines top and bottom here so like i said this originally did the boom and this did the bucket i wanted this to do the stick and this to do the bucket so that when you curl this up and around it scoops back home controls so to do that you undo this one and this one it's the first double set from the rear of the machine uh, I marked the top one with just a little you know sharpie so that I know where they're going um, and then you swap them with what you want to do over here so here this did the turntable this did the stick which is the out part here I wanted that over there. So you mark the top of this one and the bottom one, and I rerouted them down through here, under the table there, and they came around back into the block. Now, same thing on this side. Take the, this one off the top, this one off the bottom, down there where my finger is there. And we route these two, where well, my finger is here, under and through, and that goes out to the boom. So basically you flip flop these two connections here, this one top and bottom, with top and bottom over here, here, and down here, and you will have regular ISO controls. I'm sorry, John, John Deere controls, I think, as they call them. So, you can fire this up and show you what I'm talking about. So, originally, this did the whole boom, this main boom here. Now, it does the stick, which is out there. So, if I curl it in, it curls in, if I push it out, the stick goes out, if I go right, the bucket goes out. You go left, the bucket curls in. I wanted that so that when you curl around, you could get a nice scoop. You get a multifunction. This is your table, left and right. It turns the whole machine. And now this, up and down, did, it used to do that stick, and now it does this boom. Here. So you pull back for up, push forward to go down and again these are considered John Deere controls I don't know what the difference is between ISO and SAE I think this is SAE or ISO could be wrong uh, if I'm incorrect fill me in down below uh, like comment subscribe I'm going to start doing a lot more of this stuff uh, a lot of tutorials, walkthroughs, upgrades, stuff like that. Uh, again, this is the Future FT15. Uh, it's technically a 1.5 ton. It weighs about 2,350, 2,400 pounds. Um, 
check it out. I'm going to be putting a hydraulic thumb on it. I uh, wired in some cooling fans. I'm going to be doing a hydraulic oil filter. So I will upload all those to come and keep you guys posted. Keep digging.